So here we go, world rank number seven, the left-handed, unorthodox fencer, Choi Chunyan Ryan, is up against the youngster from Italy, Tommaso Marini, world ranked number 14. As they prepare to get things started, there is Tommaso Marini, tall, uses his height as is an advantage, particularly on the defence. But Choi has a super fast extension and attack. Marini gets the scoring underway. So this is Marini's way of attacking. Looking for the blade while edging forward, using the footwork to close the distance. Once he establishes the right of way with the blade, and looks for the opening. So the attack from Choi missed there. Counter attack from Marini. Good. They've only met once in international competition. That was at the World Cup in Bonn in November 2019. And Marini won that one 15-14. Marini's personal best in Grand Prix, a silver medal in Anaheim back in 2019. Choi's best of bronze in Shanghai, also in 2019. So Choi is definitely going to better his previous performance in Grand Prix competitions. Marini well, could go one better. Well, Choi trying some second intention there, trying to mix things up. It's not working for him, though. <laughs> Stuttering footwork there. 
trying to lure in the counter and then continue with the attack. The thumping of the feet on the piste from Choi now. So they got called. Preparation there from Choi. Well, that time the attack went through from Choi, and Marini's asking for a video review. Was there blade contact? Well, it's quite early to be looking ahead to Paris, to the, the Olympic Games, but it could be a strong Italian team if you've got Facconi and Garozzo and Marini as part of it. Of course, Hong Kong with Chung Choi and Ng also have a very strong team. Yeah, I get the feeling that uh, Tommaso Marini must have watched an awful lot of uh, Andrea Cassara when he was growing up. His mannerisms, everything, even, the, even his uh, video hand review signal is exactly the same. Well, that was a beautiful attack from Choi. The extension there was incredible. Troy getting himself back into this. Beautiful, beautiful counter attack levels. The scores. It's two counters in a row there. And now Choi takes the lead. Well, Marini just changing his weapon, they buying himself some thinking time. He had control of this. He had control. And he seems to have lost it now. That was better from Marini. Let's level things up. Troy needs to tighten up the handle of his foot, looking for the Allen key. Cherry only just giving instructions to his fencer, 11 apiece. Post off target.
Well, Choi just one point away now. Whoa, trying to finish in style. <laughs> Marini saw that coming. Choi coming hard. And gets the power of post. It's 14 all. Choi a little rash there, the last two points. Right, who's it going to be? Choi or Marini? Oh, it's Marini. Marini saw the attack coming. Choi attacking from too far out. Marini able to take control of Choi's blade. And finishes in close quarters, and Tommy Marini, as he's known, has taken the gold here in Incheon. That's a personal best for the Italian, and it really does stake a claim for him to be part of that it's Italian team as they roll into this Olympic cycle. And it is a very strong Italian team indeed. Tommaso Marini. at 22 years old, represents the future for Italian foil. So there it is, 15-14, it ended. And Tommaso Marini has taken his first ever Grand Prix win.